All right. It is time. And we are right now, right up to our Brownells bullet points of the week. And if you guys have not signed up for their, uh, it's not not email um their text notifications you can text brn to 556-223 and when they have sales and discounts they will send you a message they do not spam you but every once in a while especially over holiday weekends and so forth they'll send you they're like hey this is in stock it's on sale do you want it yes or no if no then go do something else but uh, you should text brn to 556-223 and we're going to talk about the topic after Zach plays the music. All right, bing, bang, boom. Uh, that is the Brownells Bullet Points intro music. How are your med supplies or your medical gear supplies? How are you fixed for med gear? What are they looking like? Uh, we're teaching a Beyond the Band-Aid uh, class this coming weekend. And so what I did is I went and I, I actually pulled out the totes, totes, but goats, and I inventoried them to see what we had uh, as far as tourniquets and pressure dressings and nose hoses. And speaking of which, Zach, are you there? I'm here. Hi, what's up? All right. Here's what I need you to do. Tell me. Oh. Uh, Write, get out a piece of paper and a pen, and I want you to write down NPA on it, nasopharyngeal airways. Because the it. one thing I noticed that we did not have in our kit was new, fresh in the packaging NPAs. We have some NPAs, you know, the ones that you hold up and you show the audience, and you're like this. Uh, but if we're going to stick it in someone's head, uh, I want it to be new from the package. Because it's it's Jared, it's your head that it's going into. Just yeah. so you know, you do is good. <laughs> I like you. You could get it in this now. Oh, that would be fantastic. I would be able to breathe. Uh, so, yeah, the nasal pharyngeal airways. The reason I'm bringing this up is I don't know what you guys have been doing lately, but if you're one of the well yeah i'm gonna buy some medical gear and you know eventually i'm gonna get around to it and i know here's the deal uh i don't know thanks to the 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 pseudo the 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 media war in in ukraine it's a real war yeah okay there's lots of wars there have been wars going on in the united states hell uh fifty thousand people in africa were slaughtered and americans didn't pick up how many fingers did, it, did the American government raise or lift to save the people in Africa that were being slaughtered? Oh, that would be zero. <laughs> well, because we're not laundering at money in Africa. We don't we're, we're care about them. So what, what, how, do we, how do we decide who we care about? Like, is it just because they're white people? Oh, that's racist. Is it racist for me to bring it up? Or is it racist for it to happen? What do you think, Jared? So if, if we let 100,000 Africans get slaughtered and we do nothing about it and Russia invades Ukraine and we lose our minds and we have to like, even though we're in, we're in complete upside down debt, we're just going to write checks. You ever Same wonder how way. that works? How is it that a country that is a trillion dollars in debt, that means we're in the red, Right. That means the bank account it's good though. It's it? the it's bank account's not zero; it's below zero. So it's trillions below. We we would have to put a trillion dollars into the bank to get back to zero. And but we're gonna pass spending bills and send money to Ukraine. Um. Okay. But my point is, regardless of why the circumstance occurred, there's a shortage on certain things, again, in the medical gear field. Uh, we went to look up tourniquets. Uh, the, was it My Medic? My Medic, who owns oh, Rats Tourniquets? I believe they own Rats Tourniquets, yep. yes. Out of inventory, out of stock. I want to buy some, I want to buy Rats TQs. Nope, 
can't do it check right now out of stock uh the super inexpensive they're not great but they're super inexpensive uh tk4s nope zach what's going on tk4s they don't exist anymore. They don't exist well, like, anymore. They're discontinuing them. Y'all might have noticed that on the... Y'all. It, it's been a month, so I can say it's now. Uh, the student kits are no longer on the store. That's because we were out for a long time. I finally found some. They didn't work, and so na- they, they just don't exist anymore, apparently. So yeah. na- now the uh, now we just have, have the original. Have up. you tried packing the new TQ from you-know-who in that? I have not, no. Do you have one? I'll talk to you about this later. Okay. okay. Because that might work. That might work. Because we need student kits. We do. Uh, we're going to have to raise the price of them a little bit, but we need student kits. That's an important thing. My point is this. Guys, inventory your medical gear. And you say, well, I've, I've had a, a med bag for years. Have you been using stuff out of it? Is it a family med bag? Has your family been opening it up and using stuff? Did they pull out the tape and use it for stuff? Did they use the gauze for stuff? Did they, you know, you got to inventory that crap. Every once in a while, you need to go in there and you need to inventory it and you need to make sure that you have everything you need because what kind of, we're living in a world where snap of the fingers, boom. All of a sudden, overnight, things can go out of stock. They just do. I mean, look what happened during the vid. We we couldn't. We had a hard time finding gloves. We couldn't find freaking nitrile gloves. Now, fortunately, gloves are back in stock. Um, but for a while, they weren't. TQs out of stock. You know, all this stuff. You need to make sure. And now, some of you out there, you're looking at me. You're like, okay, well. Do you have a list of things that I should have? Well, you should buy a pocket lifesaver. Do we have any PLSs in stock, Zach? Yes, indeed we do. We have pocket lifesavers, uh, original, enhanced, and the combat lifesaver, all available right now on shopsotg.com. Okay. Yeah, you should You should absolutely have at least one pocket lifesaver, if not more. Uh, but uh, the best way to know what you should have is to take training. Would you not say that is a, a good assessment, Jared? Is yes. that a fair assessment? Yes, you go to a training class and then you will learn. That's kind of like, uh, well, which widgets and gadgets and gadgets should I bolt onto my rifle? None until you get training. Then go to a training class and then you'll know. You'll know. Master the use of the rifle. Or That's right. With just regular sights. Yeah. And then... Uh, then you'll figure out what you and you'll do know. to optimize That's the right. process. So uh, my Brownells bullet points advice for you guys today is you need to get into your medical kit, whether it's your small kit, big kit, if you've got a big red family bag, whatever it happens to be, you need to inventory that sucker and make sure that you have everything you need because, you know, I sometimes I'm shocked. I, I you know, I'll go to a, you know, go to order something. They're like, oh, that's those are all out of stock. I'm like, what? Yeah, those are all out of stock. We don't have any more. Um, okay. All right. Uh, and also the, uh, the doopity doo doo. If you go to Brownells and you hit the emergency and survival gear tab, top row, trauma kit, echo systems, emergency trauma kit. This is a big blowout kit. And, and it's good to have a blowout kit. The problem with these great big blowout kits is they don't fit in your pocket, which means it's probably not going to be on your body. Uh, you can put something like that in a car. Although, Ready Man has a an empty bag that you can fill with stuff for, what, 20 bucks or something like that? It's a good empty trauma bag. Um, that's what I have in the truck. That's what I took a picture of. Uh, but either way, whatever you do, get training and get the gear. Get the training, get the gear. And my advice to all of you guys out there is don't wait. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, if I ever need it, I'll buy it. Mm, that's not how that works. <laughs> if I ever need a gun, I'll go buy one. No, you'll, you'll be dead and then someone else will buy it. All right. All right. 